some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Portland, Oregon with the Siberian Kitty once again as he, well, makes a total fiasco out of a court hearing over $55 because of a traffic ticket. I mean, it's a remarkable display of outright stupidity, arrogance, and just sheer outright brainlessness. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy watching the Siberian kitten make a total fool out of himself. To the trials, um, I believe the first one was Mr. Leonid Krivolenko. Um, hi, Leonid, can you hear me okay? I sure can. Good morning, Judge. Can you raise your right hand so I can get you under oath? You and the officer need to be under oath. Okay. You both solemnly swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to give in this matter will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth under the penalties of perjury. I do, Your Honor. I affirm. Okay. And say your last name for me, sir. Krivalenko. Thank you. So uh, how these trials work, Mr. Krivalenko, is I uh, first hear from the officer. She needs to establish that she validly issued you and accurately issued you that ticket. And then I'll let you ask her any questions you have and tell me your side of the story, sir. Okay. Do you have any questions? Uh, not not yet. All right, go ahead, Officer Cochran. Uh, this is uh, actually Officer Parley, Your Honor. Um, so good morning. My name is Officer Parley. I am employed by the City of Portland as a parking code enforcement officer, and was so employed on May twentieth, twenty twenty four, while on routine foot patrol at approximately nine o three a.m. I observed a Toyota with the Washington license plate Bravo Echo Victor. Bravo 61 in a mail zone on the west side of Southwest 1st Street between uh, Main and Madison, which is on public property in the city of Portland, County of Multnomah, state of Oregon. At this time, I issued citation Hotel Alpha 37276768 for mail zone under city ordinance 16.10.050. Um, I also do have four pictures which accompany this citation. Now, we're all taught in driver's ed back in high school that there are certain things you can't do while uh, parking your vehicle or uh, driving it, such as you can't park in front of a fire hydrant. You can't, uh, well, park in a uh, red zone or anything like that. You can't block any emergency vehicles. You know, stuff like that. But, you know, uh, the Siberian kitten seems to have the idea that somehow the uh, laws don't apply to him. They may apply to everybody else, but not to him. All right, would you like to show those pictures now? Uh, whenever you like, Your Honor. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go ahead and do that now. Okay. Uh, my computer is extremely slow, so I apologize, but I'm getting into the pictures right now. Uh, Mr. Krivalenko, have you seen these photos that the officer took? No, I have not. All right, you're going to see them now in just a moment. Okay, so... All right, here's the first photo. Let me know if you can see it. I can see it now. What Your is Honor, this, this is a photo of the defendants. Oh, it disappeared. Yeah, sorry, 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 sorry. I'm, I apologize. Let me, oh, my computer is not uh, working. Can you see it now? Yes, we can. Thank you. So this is a photograph of the defendant's windshield showing there's no kind of placard or uh, permit stating that they can park in the mail zone. All right, we can see the next photo. All right, this is photo two, and what is this, officer? This is a photo of the actual sign. Um, you will see in a later picture how it is positioned in relation to the uh, vehicle. Okay, we can see the next photo. 
This is that is a picture verifying the license plate that the citation was given to. All right, the next photo. Okay. And there is a photograph of the actual vehicle showing there is no signage uh, on the vehicle stating that it is a parking, it, excuse me, that it is a postal vehicle. Okay. <clears throat> and there is one showing the relationship of the vehicle uh, to the sign. So it was parked in full view of the sign when it chose to park there. <laughs> Well, Siberian kitten, what do you have to say for yourself? Because the uh, points that she's making are quite valid. You parked in an area that you weren't supposed to be parking in to begin with. If you had actually taken your uh, driver's ed courses, you would have noticed that uh, you can't park in certain areas when you see the signs. I mean, mo even most of the other frauditors will tell you that. I mean, at least they have some common sense in that area. But you seem to lack any common sense whatsoever, frauditor. All right. And you have any objection, um, Mr. Krivalenko, to me looking at those and considering them in my decision, sir? Well, there's no material objections to the pictures. The pictures are fine. I'm not objecting to the pictures. All right, then um, I'm going to go ahead and admit all of those pictures into evidence. Did you have anything else, officer, before I hear from the defendant? No, Your Honor. All right, you may go ahead, sir. Did you want to ask her questions or just tell me your side of the story? Of course. Hey, go to your seat, baby, because this one's a screamer. Um, officer Farley, uh, what building was my vehicle allegedly parked next to? You said mail zone. Which which building? It's, it's parked. It's parked in front of a mail zone sign, sir. I am not sure of the name of the uh, building that it was parked in front of, but I know the post office runs a part of their business out of it. I do not know the name of the building. Okay. So uh, the post office. Are you uh, are you referring to the U.S. Post? Office service. That is what the sign says, your uh, sir. That it's a you. You cannot park there unless you are a U.S. postal vehicle. It's a U.S. mail zone. That's not what I asked. I'm asking. I'm specific. sorry, sir. That is not what I asked. So okay, please do ask the question again. I didn't understand it. I'm going to specifically asking you. What is the, the question, sir? The pictures you've admitted as evidence. Yes. Was my vehicle allegedly parked? Next to a, a U.S. Postal Service building. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Uh, sir, no. It says that it is, it's a park next to a sign that says you must be a U.S. Postal vehicle to park there. It has nothing to do again, with the building. I'm going to interrupt you again. Listen very carefully what I asked. Yes, sir. Okay. Which U.S. Postal sign does that building belong to i don't know sir okay so i just follow the signs so let me ask you this question before you issued that citation should you have verified whether or not you had the authority to even issue a parking citation for that zone okay okay siberian kitten let me explain something to you here uh first of all that's out on the street i mean uh she has jurisdiction over that street to write tickets, you moron. Now, if you're going to claim that that's federal property because the post office is there, well, here's the enforcement uh, clause for uh, the post office, uh, according to Poster 7, which you frauditors tend to ignore certain parts, uh, especially the enforcement part where it says that... Uh, well, the post office can grant authority to uh, local law enforcement to enforce the rules and policies of the post office. And therefore, if that was post office property, the same thing applies, you douchebag. Uh, no, sir, because I have authority to deal with any of the parking signs within the city of Portland. I am a sworn parking enforcement officer. I follow what the signage says. So uh, and to my knowledge, I was sworn in to uphold those signs. So that building, as a matter of fact, on the lower level and that section belongs 
to U.S. Postal Service, which is federal property, which makes you a person with no jurisdiction or authority as a, an employee of the city of the Portland, Oregon, to issue any citations in that zone or operate as an officer in that zone, period. That's... <laughs> oh, wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> First issue that we need to raise, the issue of jurisdiction. Uh, you you're, I'm leaving this all up to the judge, sir. I, I have no no say in the matter. Well, you say no. You're the issuing officer. You have no say in the offer. I you have know. no say. Oh, in I'm going to interrupt you there, Mr. Krivalenko. So as I explained in the beginning, how these trials work is you first ask questions of the officer. It sounds like you're done asking questions and you're ready no. to your side. That's not what I said. I'm, I'm not done. I didn't, I never said that I'm done asking questions. I'm continuing to ask questions and I raise my own questions. I hear statements, sir. So if you're going to ask a question, it needs to be a question, not a statement. Sure. Because my questions are not being answered. They're being avoided. So again, Why officer just tell your side of the story, Mr. Kripalenko. No, no judge. I apologize for interrupting you, but you are not going to deny my due process. When I'm the finished with my to question, ask questions is well, happening then, right now. Don't interrupt me and don't state on my behalf. I will interrupt you, sir, if you don't ask questions and make statements. So I know. So let's, let's, let me ask you this, Mr. Krivalenko. Let's take a break here. Are you a lawyer? Gotcha, bitch. Are you yes, a pro se, ma'am? I'm I'm you representing my practice law, sir. I'm pro se. Pro se. Okay, so you don't have a law degree. Do I need to be? No, sir. Do I need but... to have a lawyer's degree to be a pro se, ma'am? No, you don't have to be a lawyer to be pro se, uh, you moron. But she's trying to rein you in like any other lawyer out there. I mean, if you go off track, that's what the judge is supposed to do. Rein you in. Especially when you are not following the uh, procedures of the court. You were supposed to be as asking questions, not making statements, which you were doing. So let's carry on, shall we? Yes, oh, sir. But I just want to make sure because I'm going to give you a little more leniency with the rules if you don't have a law degree. So I'm going to allow you to make statements and ask questions at the same time if you're not a lawyer. If you are a lawyer, then I do need to keep you strictly following the protocol of first asking questions and then making statements. That's how it works. Well, my question hasn't been answered. So let me reinstate my question and probably ask it in a little bit different way. Sure. Officer Parley. Yes, yes, sir. I'm listening. Is there a U.S. Postal Service on the first level of that entire building on that street? I, I don't know, sir. I assume so. I've never been in the building. I am just following the sign. Have you ever prior to that date walk by that building and see that there is postal vehicles in that area? That there's there always there's postal vehicles in that zone yes sir yes sir okay and that sign specifically indicates that this is a male zone correct yes sir and then presumption of that would be that it is a postal office or postal station and the postal station is belonging to and is under the control of u.s postal <laughs> service I'm yes. Sorry, I had to sneeze. Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. I agree with all of that. That that is a statement that you're making, and I yes, so, I'm not. So then, no, that. that's not a statement. I was asking you a question. What? So what's the agree? question? I'm not sure what the question is, other than for me. Heard her say she agrees with you, sir. You can move to okay, the next so, question. Great. So that that establishes this fact, and you agree that that area is under the control of the federal government. Specifically, the agency of U.S. Postal Service. You agree? You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. No, sir. I don't agree. I don't know. I only follow the signs. I am not a judge. Please stop okay. asking me questions I cannot answer. If you're telling me you're following the signs, which you clearly right now, I'm assuming you do not understand. Correct? Sir, I understand your questions. What I'm saying is it's not my jurisdiction to parse out what is what. 
Thank I'll you. follow what the Thank sign you for the says. Answer. We have clearly established, and you agree, it is not your jurisdiction, correct? No, you haven't established that there is a lack of jurisdiction in this matter, uh, dude. Uh, in fact, uh, even if it, there was a different jurisdiction on that particular piece of property, then uh, we would still have Poster 7 to back up the fact that this officer does have the authority to issue those tickets to begin with. I mean, if you would at least do your research and understand that kind of thing, then maybe you would have at least paid a damn fine and been done with this uh, fiasco. But no, you're an incompetent moron who just can't seem to comprehend any little thing like that. No, I did not agree with that, sir. I don't know. I I follow the signs. I She's feel already like asked the, answered the question, Mr. Yeah. Privilego. She does not know. Next question. Okay. So, next question is, uh, you issued this citation under the city code 16.10.050, correct? Yes, sir, I did. Have you read that uh, code before issuing the citation? Uh, sir, I d uh, it comes up automatically when I issue the citation. That is not what I asked. I asked, have you read the code of that? Yes, that sir, previously, code? but I could not quote it for you. Okay, let, let me rephrase my question, because I don't think you understood it again, and you're again dodging that question. I'm not so I'm dodging it, sir. Listen carefully to my question yes, and don't sir. interrupt me. Listen carefully before I finish the question, then you answer it. Prior to issuing that citation, on the date of the issuing of the citation, 05-20-24, have you read the city code 16.10? I'm going to interrupt you. She's already answered that question, and you're not allowed to repeat questions. She already answered that she read it, but she could not quote it to you. Next question. Okay. So let's look at that citation and let's look at the code 16.10050. It reads It is unlawful for a pedestrian or the operator of any vehicle to disobey the instruction of a traffic control device placed in accordance with the provisions of this title unless otherwise directed by the authorized officer. That's the first paragraph. Do you agree with that? Sir, I'm, I'm, read it. I'm going to read it, Officer Parley. So it Thank says you, it's Honor. unlawful for a pedestrian or the operator of any vehicle to disobey the instructions of a traffic control device placed in accordance with the provisions of this title unless otherwise directed by an authorized officer. That's the first sentence in that code. I do agree with that, Your Honor. Okay, go ahead, sir. Now, Ms. Uh, officer Parley, can you find me any language in that, in that paragraph, in that first sentence, that gives you the authority or you know, I knew uh, frauders were incredibly stupid and incompetent, but I had no idea that I would encounter one that would be a grand scale of incompetence such as this. You've pretty much just destroyed your own case right here, dude, because uh, you dis it says here pretty much you disobeyed the traffic control device, and you can only uh, negate that by the uh, permission of an authorized officer, which the authorized officer that you're talking to did not grant you that permission. So you just shot yourself in the damn foot right here, dude. I mean, good freaking grief. Any language that refers to parking violations? No, I cannot, sir. But I also will say that the city of Portland, county of Multnomah, and state of Oregon, that is in a zone that I police. So because of that, I feel I do have the authority. Are you testifying? Because you sound no, like you're, you're testifying. Sir, of you keep answer. asking me questions that I feel like I've answered already. And I feel like you're parsing out, splitting hairs to the 11th degree. I'm not sure where you're going with this. It is a male. Splitting male's. hairs? What, what right. do you mean so by splitting hairs? Carly, anytime that he asks a question that you feel has already been answered, you can say asked and answered. Thank you, Your Honor. Yeah. Okay. All right. So. What do you mean by splitting hairs? 
I that's need irrelevant. that's irrelevant. Next, Next question. question. Yes. Next question. Judge, are you testifying for the for the officer? I'm not testifying. I'm making are you the plaintiff? objections. Are you Next the question? Plaintiff? She didn't raise the objection. You don't raise the objection, Judge. What do you think you're doing? Oh, okay. You're going to violate my constitutional rights. I'm there, Mr. Kriblenko. Actually, I can raise objections, and I just did. So, do you have another question, or would you like to move to your side of the story, sir? Why don't you just stop testifying for for the officer? And why don't the officer just keep answering questions instead of giving her statements as testimony? So again, I didn't get the law, up. and we're going to follow the procedures in this courtroom. Right. You can either accept them. Or you can hang up and stop your trial, but we're not going to allow you to control this trial. I'm the one in control here. I'm the one that tells you how it goes, not you. So you're you, not. You have violated the judge. procedures. Respectfully, okay. judge, you're I not the one who violated the And you need to move right on. Due process. All right. Are we moving on? So, let's read the second paragraph. It is unlawful for any person to refuse to fail to comply with any lawful order, signal or the direction of any officer displaying the back to the legal authority to direct, control, regulate traffic. Officer Parley, do you read anything in that code relating to parking? I enforce it as, I, as I'm told to do. That's all officer I can Parley, ask and answer. A, officer Parley, this is a yes or no question. Do you she answered the question, sir. She did not answer my question. This is a yes or no question. I think what would work did best here, Mr. Kripalenko, I believe that you're abusing and battering the witness. And so we're going to move on. My accuser. You can now tell me your side of the story and what yes. your argument is. She is not a witness. She is my accuser. She is the officer. And badgering my accuser does not fall under the category of a witness. She's not a witness. Listen, you moronic kitten. You're on the verge of getting uh, charged with contempt of court if you keep on badgering the uh, witness. And yes, she is a witness. She is also a qualified officer who uh, just so happens to be the witness. And your lack of, uh, well, expertise within this field is showing through with all this BS that you're putting out. I mean, the second paragraph doesn't establish the fact that she has no jurisdiction over you at all. I mean, that's just idiotic. Mr. Malenko, would it be okay for you to pause and take a breath, maybe gather yourself? Maybe we could do the other trial and come back to you? No, so maybe, you're could, really maybe upset. you should just start violating my, maybe people just make good decisions my life. You're upset. So we're right. gonna wait until you can actually listen to me without interrupting me while I'm talking. And then all I'm right. gonna repeat everything want, I just said to make you want to sure pause and come back? You want to pause and come back? Do you want to pause and come back, Judge? Or do you want to just dismiss this case? Because clearly, this violation, alleged violation, the statute, the code on, under which it was written has nothing to do with parking. And this officer, Farley, has no authority to even issue any citations on federal property. Bullshit! Bullshit! And you're sitting here badgering me. You're sitting here accusing me. You're sitting there on your presiding bench and violating my rights and violating my due process. And in fact, right now you're helping the city and helping the officer Parley, placing her in the position of a defendant. Are you kidding me? She's my accuser. She's the officer. So I think Judge, you know, you better, I've done Mr. Like, Kripa Lenko, and I'll have my say. Let me put it to you really clearly, Judge. Judicial misconduct carries consequences, and there are remedies. There are remedies to remedy judicial misconduct. So please, please, don't think that I'm one of those defendants that is going to sit and take this nonsense from you. Sheer fucking hubris. Understand? So if you want to pause, that's up to you. Right now, I'm moving you, the court, to immediately dismiss this case on the issues and grounds and defenses that I have just raised. This code has nothing to do with parking, and Ms. Parley has no authority to issue parking citations on federal property. Period. I move to dismiss this case. 
All right, Mr. Krivalenko, did you have any other arguments or defenses before I rule? I'm done. Excellent. Your motion is denied. I find that the officer validly issued the ticket and the fine is $55. Uh, your Great. trial is done and you're free to disconnect. I will move for appeal. Good. I think you should. I will. All right, Ms. Lynn, are you ready for your trial? What we have witnessed here today, good people, is the uh, shocking stupidity of the Siberian kitten. I mean, he doesn't understand the uh, statutes he's reading. He doesn't understand uh, government uh, properties. He doesn't understand private properties. He doesn't understand anything, and yet he's representing himself in a court where he only had to pay $55. I mean, that's nothing these days. On good freaking grief, dude, you are a complete incompetent douchebag. No wonder you were kicked out of Ukraine or Russia or wherever you're from. I mean, they didn't want your stupidity uh, destroying their country, and I don't blame them. I mean, I wish there was some island that we could ship you to that uh, you wouldn't cause damage to. I mean, it's totally unfathomable the amount of stupidity that you have. But you know what? Let's just go ahead and hope that this guy's uh, stupidity doesn't infect the rest of us. So in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you playing cereal? Who's that?